Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, we've got a new Fusion Champion released. We're going to go over that Fusion now. Looks like it's going to be the Valentine's Fusion. So expect a pairing to come alongside this like we've had in the past with champions like Cupidus and Venus pairing together. Rotus and um, Sepia. Pretty sure that was a Valentine's one as well. So yeah, what's going on? Let's have a look. Grab the image of her first. Beautiful lady. So we've got ourselves a fairy. A fairy, obviously going to be a Sylvan Watcher. So we've got here on Thursday, the 9th of Feb. So that's a week today. Uh, we're planning to launch a fusion event for a new champion, Oella. I've got to say, she could have just got a little bit more fabric, uh, a little bit more leaf to cover up a bit more, you know? Unless it gets pretty warm where she is, she's going to be drafty. That's all I'm going to say. Um, we've got here a legendary support magic affinity champion. Oella will be a great champion for clearing PvE, especially Iron Twins and Hydra. We will see. And um, yeah, okay, let's have a look. Let's check her out. I like it when Ray do these graphics. It makes it much easier to kind of give you some vibes. So is this going to be one of those must-get fusions? Is that what the, the thumbnail will say? Let's see then. Oella. Flutter, fluster. <laughs> Is the first skill. Uh, I bet she's flustered after that outfit, honestly. So attacks one enemy. Books to 100% chance of placing decreased speed for two turns. I like that. A 100% decreased speed A1. I like that a lot, actually. There's loads of places where you really want that 100%. Even if you're thinking about the uh, head of mischief, not head of mischief. Who's the one who does all the, the cleansing? You know the one. The one who's always on the left. What's his name? Anyway, the head that, that cleanses decreased speed can be really efficient to, to kind of mess up their order on some rotations. So yeah, this is a great steal. It does say here, this debuff cannot be resisted if Ultan of the Shell is on the same team. Uh, that's not a champion that I've heard of so far. Uh, we've got no info on other new champions. They have classified this as a fusion, not a fragment collector. Which makes me think potentially it could be one of the epics, but it is written in gold, which makes it feel like a legendary. So there's probably going to be that Valentine second legendary that comes out that is not part of a fusion. If you pair her alongside this other new champion, then she starts to get enhanced. And the enhancement here is no accuracy required, which would be a massive buff, honestly. She doesn't need accuracy anywhere else in her kit. So just building it for an A1 feels annoying. So yeah, Old Town of the Shell, I guess we'll find out sooner or later i also by the way do not yet know anything about any fusion epics but if it's a fusion there's normally four new champions which are epics that, that build into the legendary and there's normally a rare that builds into those epics as well they might end up being quite a nice prize if you can't do the legendary on a new account or a free to play like my free to play um anyway back to the kit hand of spring heals all allies by 30 percent of their max hp Increases the duration of all ally buffs by a turn. These skills are underrated. Yeah, increasing your buff count by a turn is really good. A heal as well is nice. Only thing I would have loved to have seen alongside it is actually a bit of shieldage as well. Because for a legendary support, shield actually tends to be almost better than healing. Especially for stuff like clan boss. You want, you want a bit of both. And I really would have loved to have seen some shieldage as well. But... A decent level heal, 30%. But that's not going to be like a game changer, in my opinion. We've then got our turn meter fill on the A3. This books to a three turn. Turn meter fill and increase resistance for two turns. So increased resistance starts to become reasonable, I guess, for Doom Tower areas. For things like, um, I guess, the twins, if you're trying to build the comp as they meant for you to build the comp. And not just building like a geo thing. Um, so yeah, it could be decent for there. Increased resistance probably has got its place as well in you know arena defensive comps with a turn meter feel as well, potentially, but that's probably not the way the meta's gone right now. So I'm not sure she's really going to be used there. We've got a passive here, untrammeled. Not sure if that's I'm not sure what that word means, honestly. Uh whenever an ally loses 15% or more of their HP, places a heal. Continuous heal. Uh, places a 15% continuous heal for two turns on the ally 
and then instantly activates if Ultan's around. So take the hit, you receive the heal and pop it, so you get your HP back straight away if Ultan's around. It can occur only once per ally per turn. And then we've got resistance in dungeons by 75. My first impression is like an average legendary champion. That's my first impression. I like the A1. A turn meter feels always useful. With increased resistance, pretty niche use case, but not terrible. An okay heal. Um, and if you've got Ultan of the Shell on the same team, kind of depends how good this champion is because just these two enhancements doesn't make her suddenly insane. Yeah, it improves her kit, but she doesn't suddenly become insane. Okay healer, okay support champion. Don't see her base stats and stuff yet, so we don't know if that's going to improve things. But ultimately, you know, if I compare her to Pythian or Helicaf or, you know, some of those real game-changing legendaries, don't think this is it. It's, she would be good. I would have her. I would take her on the free-to-play tomorrow. But I wouldn't be going all in with all of my stuff to make sure that I get her for my account. That's my view. Let me know your view down below. Let me know where you would use someone with this type of kit. And I guess let me know what type of champions you'd like to see for the epics alongside her. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.